What's up Star Wars fans, The Mandalorian here from the Hyperspace Database, the show that highlights the secret history and trivia of Star Wars ships, alien species, technology, and more. Today's topic, the Droid Tri-Fighter. The Droid Tri-Fighter was designed by the Colicoid Creation Nest and developed by Plak Arfok Automata Industries for the Separatist Army during the Clone Wars. The droid Tri-Fighter was a heavily armed, compact drone fighter that was specifically designed for heavy dogfighting. It fulfilled that purpose well, as it was smaller than most all ships in the CIS and Republic Navy, as well as being more heavily armed than some other craft twice its size. Since the ship was an inorganic droid unit, it was able to make maneuvers that would be impossible for any organic pilot, and because the craft needed no life support systems, that space was then used for more advanced weaponry and other combat features. The ship featured a heavy arsenal, which included Discord missiles, proton torpedoes or concussion missiles, as well as buzz droid missiles to eat enemy starfighters from the outside. The ship was meant to be fearsome in function and form, and reflected the initial body design of the droidica of the Trade Federation, which were likewise fearsome droid war machines. The Tri-Fighter was deadly because of its advanced droid processing unit, which was far more advanced than that of the droid starfighter or vulture class fighters. It was made to adapt and learn from its battles, and was capable of mimicking opponents' attack patterns and maneuvers. The droid Tri-Fighter was primarily used during the Clone Wars, and was seen in several major battles of the Clone Wars TV show, including battles on Sullust, Dathomir, and the Siege of Coruscant. In the Battle of Sullust, Asajj Ventress commanded several squadrons of Tri-Fighters to attack the Venator-class cruiser the Resolute, while she made a run for the bridge of the ship. The Tri-Fighters then intercepted Anakin Skywalker, who was in the battle with Obi-Wan Kenobi, though Anakin was able to outwit the fighters and cause them to destroy each other. They would also be seen attacking the planet Umbara and the Republic forces there, while still later they would participate in the Battle of Dathomir against the Night Sisters and their leader Mother Talzin. Several Tri-Fighters were seen in the invasion of Cato Nemoidia, where they were able to shoot down many clone Z-95 headhunters, and even Anakin Skywalker's Actus class interceptor, though the Jedi was able to escape before his ship exploded. The Tri-Fighter was most famously seen in the very beginning of Revenge of the Sith, in the Battle of Coruscant. The fighters were among the many Separatist ships that launched a surprise attack at the heart of the Republic, and destroyed many ships before they were repelled. Anakin and Obi-Wan fought against several Tri-Fighters after they had destroyed many clone pilots in their ARC 170s. While Anakin was able to evade the missiles that were launched against him, Obi-Wan was not so lucky and suffered heavy damage due to the buzz droids that covered his ship. At the end of the war, the ships were deactivated, along with all the other Separatist droid forces by Darth Vader, after the ascendance of Chancellor Palpatine to Emperor. After Vader had dispatched the leaders of the Separatists, the ships were disabled and mopped up by the New Empire's forces. However, other dissidents would later use some of these ships against the Empire, such as the rogue Geonosian Gizor Delso, as seen in the classic Battlefront II, the Free Ryloth Movement, which was led by Cham Syndulla, who was seen in the Rebels TV show, and a rebel cell under the leadership of Republic Intelligence operative Birch Teller, who was featured in the novel Tarkin. The droid Tri-Fighter was a formidable craft for the CIS, and was the bane of many pilots because of their quality and superior capabilities, which reflected the ruthlessness of their masters and showed their determination to destroy the Jedi, defeat the Republic, and crush any that would stand in their way. And that nearly wraps up this episode, but stick around at the end for some secret trivia. Did you like it? Be sure to check out my other videos as well, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and the bell to be notified every time I publish a new video. Be sure to select all notifications, and you can check out the show on social media for more news and channel updates. Hit me up in the comments, because I'd love to talk to you guys too. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.